Okay, again, my name is Chris Dillard, uh, Geospatial Extension Specialist with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. And I'm going to be sharing some of my time today with John Gilbert, who's in the um, School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences. Um, I, have, I, have a, I saw or uh, met some of you out and given you some of the handouts already. But if, for anybody I missed, I've got some handouts for uh, the workshop, the printout of the um, uh, presentation from yesterday's uh, GPS 101 workshop. So if I miss you, they've got their sum up front, but we'll try to, to hit everybody else um, afterwards. So I can make this work properly. A brief update about some of our upcoming workshops, um, including the workshop and registration information. Uh, these workshops are going to be held. Uh, John's going to speak to you a little bit about some of the other workshops that are going on, but um, uh, these are going to be conducted by Bo Broadbeck, Jack Rowe, and myself, who um, are a couple of colleagues you may be may have had some interaction with. I'm um, going to cover a little bit about, about some of the software tutorials and imagery uh, download utility um, that I think the last time we met in Abor, we conducted, I believe, one workshop, um, and we've, we've had several since then, and these are a couple of things that um, the, the attendees and that you guys expressed interest in, in last year's workshop about having um, some tutorial information. And then I'm going to briefly mention uh, what I'm calling the uh, NAPE DOQQ download utility that I'm working on right now. And I mentioned it in the workshop yesterday. But it's, it's a utility uh, similar to like a Google Earth application. But it will allow you to uh, download some of the imagery, uh, the imagery for your area and your location that, um, uh, that you can use as a base map some of your software applications. And then uh, talk briefly about a, a utility software update. Uh, it's another thing that, that I've gotten a field a lot of questions on about uh, how can I measure acreage uh, using free software such as Google Earth and Google Earth Path. Okay, um, just want to mention briefly that we do have, um, we have a, a workshop we, we we do call it GPS 101 Technology for Better Land Management. And this is a schedule uh, of our upcoming workshops. Uh, we have June 9th, we're scheduled for Connecticut County. Uh, June, I believe that's going to be in Evergreen. Uh, June 10th, Mobile County, and that will be in Mobile. And I believe uh, June 16th is going to be in Otago County, or it is Otago County, but I believe it's going to be in Otagaville. Um, and we have tentative workshops lined up for uh, Dallas County and Lowndes County. And that information will, um, those exact dates and times will have to come a little bit later. But if you are interested in, um, uh, in, in the, attending some of these upcoming workshops, uh, we have our workshop, reg and workshop registration information at the uh, web address alabamagps.com. Okay, just some of the activities that we, that we uh, do in the workshops. Uh, basically, it's an introduction to the global positioning system and geographic information systems. And we, we will typically get outside and collect some GPS data with our uh, GPS units. I believe this is, uh, this is one of our, our first workshops we did uh, down here in Fairhope. It's a little similar to what we did yesterday. Close up of uh, collecting some data. So, we really try to get you out and do you know, a little class session and then also outside doing some, uh, some hands on activities. Uh, we also come back inside, obviously, and do some, some mapping exercises. So we, we try we come in let you get the whole approach of collecting data outside with GPS units, uh, bringing that data back in, putting it on a computer, and then uh, processing and mapping that data. Um, like I said, transferring the data. Uh, we also uh, go through the process. So there's a lot of free data out there available for using to to use um, uh, for mapping and, and using as base layers. So we try to we go through the process of well, first, where that data is available, and secondly, um, uh, how to import uh, that data in, in, into your software. And then we try to concentrate on, on 
you know, the basic mapping uh, technologies and skills, and then uh, in particular uh, calculating acreage. And if time permitting, oh, sorry, this is actually just a, um, uh, a sample of the outline that we go through through the class, um, transferring GPS data to the computer, uh, working with the imagery, calculating acreage. Uh, also go through a couple of different methods of calculating acreage. One, just actually physically walking a, a boundary, a perimeter of a field. And then there's been a lot of interest in calculating uh, acreage just by dropping points at the field corners or the, the timber track corners. Um, so we go through that process as well. And then we just generally go through the, the main map features of creating point slides and polygons and, and how those can be beneficial to, uh, to mapping your resources. And um, like yesterday, we, we worked with, with this briefly yesterday, but uh, also had a lot of interest in using Google Earth, uh, Google Earth Path, which is a utility uh, for, allows you to use the free Google Earth software to uh, determine acreage uh, within it. And then hopefully we get to go back outside and go ahead. So just a, kind of an example of, of one of the things we work on, pretty simple example, but uh, calculating acreage. And that would be, for example, walking a field boundary, and then, go ahead, I think you might click this one several times. And it's, this would be the second example of, if you, for example, you couldn't walk between points two and three, but you could still drop points at each of the field corners, and you wanted to determine acreage that way. This is one of the activities we did yesterday. All right. um, this is just a, 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 an example of the type of imagery that we utilize in our workshops. And this is the type of Im imagery that's freely available to you. Uh, it's hosted on our uh, ACES water quality website and hopefully soon going to be, or will soon be available through our, our web utility. And this is just another quick example of if you're interested in developing some type of buffer zones around your property, uh, this is a buffer, a 10 meter buffer zone around a creek in Auburn on campus. Um, this is a, another type of uh, activity we can do. And thirdly, we have um, a cruise or a sample map. And with the, the uh, software that we we're using, um, this is certainly one of the things that we can, we can develop. And again, just wanted to show the dates again, June 9th, 10th, and 16th. Um, like I mentioned, uh, I'm not going to try to show these, but one of the requests we've had are for both video and print tutorials. So we have resources on my website at alabamagps.com where you can uh, print out uh, some of the uh, basic tasks of the software that we use, whether it's Google Earth or Expert GPS. Um, and try to make these a, a nice point to point, uh, either watching a video of of my screen and how to create something in the software, or uh, something that's just in print form that you can print out or just read on the screen. <coughs> and this is uh, an application I'm working on. It's, it's called a web application, and this is the app that's similar to a Google Earth. And the idea behind this is that uh, you'll be able to zoom in on, on your area, search for your area, your property, um, and then once you find your area, you can quickly download uh, what's called a DOQQ, uh, which is an aerial photo, or an aerial image of your property uh, that's put out by the uh, National Agriculture Imagery Program. And this is freely available, um, and that um, uh, can be used as a base layer for some of the, the um, mapping uh, activities that we do in our, in our workshop. So, and if you decide to uh, use a software that can utilize it, um, it's going to be a utility to make this, this data uh, hopefully easily and quickly available to you. Again, I uh, just want to mention quickly that we do have, uh, there is a utility out that uh, this is an, something I've got a lot quite, I've received a lot of questions about. Um, a lot of people are interested in just doing, if they're doing basic mapping, they would still like to determine or figure out how to determine acreage using Google Earth, which is a free version of the Google Earth software. There is a Google Earth Pro that will tell you your acreage of the field, but the free version uh, does not, unfortunately. But there's a utility, and we used it yesterday briefly, that uh, 
that you can process your data through and then display it in Google Earth uh, and it will show the acreage of your property. So, and uh, DNR Garmin is just a nice, another nice uh, GPS transfer utility. Um, and that's my contact information if anybody <clears throat> has any questions. Um, otherwise, we'll go into the, we can bring that back up later, I guess, but 